let's talk about decluttering and let's talk about being successful. I'm Margaret. I'm a virtual organizer and I've helped people for over 20 years get decluttered from stuff and probably even more importantly from stress. I do it virtually so I can help anyone in the U.S. and I do it with a teaching component so that you stay decluttered once we get you there. So how do we get it so that decluttering isn't quite the awful thing that you think it is? Well, we start by breaking things down into bite-sized pieces. Seriously, if you have a big chunk of time, knock yourself out and declutter, but most of us don't. The reality is, if you can do 20 to 30 minutes a day, three or four days a week, you are going to be killing it because it adds up. But it doesn't stop just there. What we want to do is we want to make decluttering not such an awful task, something that you dread. So let me give you a few little tricks that you can do. I have a client that uh, I was work, I'm still working with, and we were talking, I guess, a couple weeks ago, and she suffers with ADD. And so we were talking about, okay, you need to do your paperwork. You don't like doing it. What can we do to reward you so that it's a more pleasant thing? And she goes, oh, I know, I can have 11. And I have to say, I had no idea what 11 Z's is, but it turns out it's a UK thing, maybe some other countries too, where at 11 o'clock, it's a break for tea, maybe a little second breakfast, a little snack, something pleasant. And so I said, yes, I love it, 11 Z's. Now, she doesn't have to do it at 11 in the morning, but she should pick a time or a day each week that she's going to sit down and for 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, work on her paperwork and the things that she doesn't like to do. And then she's going to give herself a little bit of a treat afterwards. Yes, was working with another client. And I found this curious. It was this week, so it were the week before Christmas. And she's still talking about, I have to put up this decoration and that decoration. And I'm thinking, shoot, at this point, why put it up? Because you're just to be taking it down within a week or two. And so I said, you know what? How about you just, after we end our call here, how about if you turn on some Christmas music and do that? She did. When we met the next time, she goes, it was the best. She goes, it took me 20 minutes to get everything done. I had a ball because I had Christmas music on. So believe it or not, that's the same thing as 11 Z's. You're giving yourself a reward during the decluttering, not waiting until afterwards. Let me share another idea of something that you can do to make decluttering a more positive experience because you're, you're creating good associations with it. Find some music. Maybe it's a certain singer, a certain type of music, and just commit to yourself that you will not play it unless you're decluttering. It, this also works with a podcast, maybe a favorite storyteller or something that you particularly enjoy. You get to listen to it, but commit to yourself. You will not do it unless you're decluttering. You know what you've done? You've created a positive association that I get to hear something that I like while I'm decluttering. Once again, let's not forget that cardinal rule. You've broken it down into 20 or 30 minutes. Even set a timer because I'll tell you what, the most unpleasant thing, you can tell yourself, I can do that for 20 minutes. You don't want to do it for two hours, but, but you can do it for 20 minutes. So set a timer so that you know you're not going to go over and that you're in charge. You're the boss of this project. A lot of times uh, a, a healthy treat, and I'm going to stress healthy because we aren't trying to do things and then just eat a lot of calories that aren't good for us, but you know, a smoothie, some, some dark chocolate, something that's kind of nice that you can set. You can do this two ways. You can set it as your reward for when you finish the decluttering, or you can set your timer to stop halfway through, have a little treat, and then get back at it. I'll be honest, for me, that doesn't work. I want to just get to the finish line. I don't want to take a break. It's harder for me to get back and get going, but you might not be built that way, and that's okay. You're picking the treat that works for you. I'm going to leave it there, but I have a million ideas for people. I like to really uh, customize them for who that person is and their lifestyle and what means something to them. But if I can give you any more tips or tricks, hit me up in the comments. If you want to get together and work, because I, I this is not a program that I'm selling. I, I'm working with you every step of the way. I'm on every, uh, every call with you, and we're talking about your stuff, your house, your way. If I can do that for you, click the link in my bio, contact me. You can buy an organizing package. We can chat first. Whatever you need, that's what I'm here for.